संस्थापकाय च धर्मस्य सर्वधर्मस्वरूपिणे अवतार वरिष्ठाय रामकृष्णायते नमः अ गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल ऑफ यू वी हैव ऑल असेंबल्ड हियर टू विटनेस द प्रोसीडिंग्स ऑफ द इनॉग्रल सेशन ऑफ द नेशनल सेमिनार ऑन Swami Vivekananda's vision of future society the seminar is being conducted with the financial assistance from the ministry of culture government of india as a part of the 150th birth anniversary celebrations of swami vivekananda we shall begin this solemn function with vedic chanting by monks of the institute <coughs> ुभ्यो नम हरि ओ सहनावत सह नौ भुन सह वीरंकवाहै तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तुमाषा वह ओ शाति 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 हरि ओ शो मित्र शुण शो भवत्म शो बृहस्पति शो विष्णुक्रम नमो ब्रह्मणे नमस्ते वायो प्रत्यक्ष ब्रह्मासी ता प्रत्यक्ष ब्रह्म वदिष्या ऋत वदिष्या सत्यम वदिष्या तन्मावत तद्वक्तावत अवत अवत वक्त शाति 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 भद्रं कर्णे विशृणुयाम देवा भद्रं पश्ये मक्षिजत्रिरंगुष्टुवागम सस्तनु व्यशेम देवित यदायु स्वस्ति न इंद्रो वृद्धश्रवा स्वस्ति न पूषा विश्व स्वस्ति न साक्षो अरिष्ट नेमी स्वस्ति नो बृहस्पतिर्दा ओ शाति 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 हरि ओ पूर्णमिद पूर्णमिदूर्नात्मुदच्यते पूर्ण से पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ शाति 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 हरि ओ तत्सरामकृष्णापणमस्तु the secretary of the ramakrishna mission institute of culture revered swami supranand ji maharaj will now felicitate the guests <coughs> revered swami bodh saranand ji maharaj an assistant secretary of the ramakrishna mission pelur math is being felicitated <coughs> revered swami atmapriyanand ji maharaj vice chancellor vivekananda university Professor Krishna Roy, ex-professor of philosophy, Jadavpur University. I now request Revered Swami Supranand Ji Maharaj to give the address of welcome. Om Jano Ning Sharo Dang Devi Ng Ramo Krishna Ng Jagat Guru. पादपत्मितोस्तिवा प्रणमा 
So being financed by the Ministry of Culture, Government of India, and it is being observed as a part of the 150th birth anniversary celebration of Swami Vivekananda. And this is the last seminar. We had to organize more than five seminars altogether, and this is the last one. We have in our midst <coughs> this afternoon uh, Swami Bodho Sharanandaji, the Assistant Secretary, Ramakrishna Mission, Belur Mot. He will inaugurate the seminar. I welcome him. We have the keynote addresser, Swami Atma Piyanandaji, a Vice Chancellor of Vivekananda University. I welcome him as well. We have Professor Krishna Rai of Jadavpur University. He will propose a vote of thanks. I welcome her also. I welcome the distinguished speakers who are present and who are not present at this moment, but who will be joining us mostly tomorrow. I welcome Swami Sarvastha Nandaji, Adhaksa Ramakrishna Asramo, Rajkot, Swami Sri Kantananda, Ramakrishna Mount, Pune, he is the secretary over there, president of Pune, Ramakrishna Mount. I welcome Dr. Shibaji Raha, director, Bose Institute. I Welcome Dr. Ambala Bandhakovi, Principal, PRISM Degree and PG College, Visakhapattanam. I welcome Professor Radharaman Chakraborty, former Vice Chancellor Netaji, Netaji Shubhas Open University. And he is also the project director of international understanding for human unity at the institute here. He is also the Vivekananda professor of Calcutta University. I welcome Dr. M. A. Balo Subramania, MBBS, DA, DNB, Chief Executive Officer, Swami Vivekananda Youth Movement. Saragur, <coughs> Mysore. I welcome Professor Makarant R. Oranjpe, the Professor and Chairperson, Center for English Studies, Jawaharlal Nehru University, New Delhi. I welcome <coughs> Dr. Devasis Mukherjee, uh, BTEC Electronic Electrical. Electronics presently runs a small own shop. Wired Consultancy Company. He is deeply associated with Ramakrishna Mission New Delhi as a resource person in value education there at Delhi Ashram. I welcome Sri V. Srinivas from IIT Mumbai and from IIM Ahmedabad. He is the founder of CEO and lead researcher of Illumine and Knowledge intervention. I welcome Dr. Kallan Rudra also, Chairman of West Bengal Westland Development Corporation. I welcome Dr. Subramania, Pro Vice Chancellor, Jogo University, Bangalore. I welcome uh, his wife also, Mrs. Subramaniam. I welcome Prabhrajika Prabuddha Prana Mataji of Saradamar Dakshineshwar. I welcome the Swamis present here. I welcome other distinguished guests. So, the topic is very much known to us. In fact, we have all been 
thinking very deeply how best we can materialize the vision of future society that's swami ji has given us swami ji has given us his complete vision of future society in his lectures from colombo to almora we get a vivid description and also some positive methods to assert in this society not only in india but all over the world and you all know that <coughs> we have to be our society has to be made richer and greater than what it is now and with what with a brighter view of life the brighter view of life means that we have to have faith in the goodness in us in the undying element in us that is our divine nature and obviously we cannot dwell much on the worldly wisdom or practicality or pragmatism that we often do if we rely on these aspects of secular knowledge giving us worldly wisdom and practicality only the black things in society will be more black that is almost certain and swami ji has faith in us unless we imbibe the spirit spirit of divinity in us and emulate this spirit in us and show it in our day to day life we try sincerely to be good and pure <coughs> and aim <coughs> amid this purity <coughs> spread this purity and goodness in society through our sincere living there is no hope and individually each of us will have to inculcate the culture of the brahmanas the knowledge culture we have to develop refined mind so that we can grasp the most refined atman or divinity in us along with that inculcation of culture of the brahmanas we have to live a life of valor strength that the vaishya class stands for and this has to be coupled with a sense of mutuation expansion and distribution spirit of the vaishya class the merchant class and obviously the last one the attitude of service selfless service and sacrifice that swami ji visualized among the shudra class these are to be present in us all of us individually and then and then only all these characteristic features would have a deep penetration at the macro level in society as such 
So individually we have to, we'll have to prepare ourselves towards this India. And they have, he has given us the blueprint. I do not take much of your time. Our distinguished speakers will deliver it on <coughs> the topic itself. And those of us who are sincere readers of Samiji, I think they will enjoy these sessions. I once again welcome the audience, the speakers, and the Swamis on the dais, along with Professor Krishna Rai. Thank you. Namaste. We shall now hear something about this seminar. <coughs> Seminars <coughs> in the Ramakrishna Mission Institute of Culture are held to bring together the brightest minds and make them deliberate on various aspects of a particular topic <coughs> to throw new light on it <coughs> and evolve a thought process which excels in depth and broadness. <coughs> this seminar, being one of the many seminars being conducted by the Ramakrishna Mission Institute of Culture as a part of the 150th birth anniversary celebration of Swami Vivekananda, aims at envisioning a society which would be in accordance with the ideas of Swami Vivekananda. <coughs> the many-sided genius of Swami Vivekananda includes his wise and matured outlook on society and social matters. <coughs> Rooted in the principles of Vedanta and with personal experience of the ultimate reality, Swami Vivekananda saw the entire universe laid upon the ultimate truth which was the foundation of everything man and matter. He even saw that the source and the destiny of all is the same truth. <coughs> he traced all endeavors of man aimed at that one goal and all advancements of society as proceeding towards that one goal only. If this is kept as the background, Swami Vivekananda's thoughts on social matters would unravel themselves to any discerning mind. This truth of all truths is the key which opens all doors of the mansion society. Every aspect of society could be understood and developed on sound lines when this one truth is understood, accepted and worked upon. <coughs> Every problem in society gets solved with this eternally existent solution. Every evil destroyed with this infallible weapon and every bit of knowledge revealed with this inexhaustible mine of knowledge. <coughs> the various levels of human existence are but steps to that ultimate goal. The differences among men are due to the varying degrees of evolution. The necessity of service to mankind gets justified and cooperation and understanding between man and man and between states and nations assume a new dimension in the light of this truth. Social customs and beliefs can be reinterpreted on lines of this highest principle. Morality gets strengthened and love and respect get sublimated to new heights and service and help become a source of upliftment to the giver and the receiver. Scientific and technological advancements fall within the purview of divinity. Latest trends in society don't run the risk of rejection by the orthodox 
and traditional practices don't get refuted by the moderns. <coughs> Building up of the body and development of the mind and the spirit become harmoniously combined. The endeavors of science and philosophy don't clash but each acknowledges their mutual importance. An awareness of environmental concerns becomes dominant. An indebtedness to the past and a responsibility toward the future mark human attitudes. Goals get redefined.